Good afternoon, everyone. We can do better than that. This is an exciting day. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Mr. Secretary, Mr. Clerk, members of the General Assembly, family and friends, and our distinguished guests. My name is Chris Welch, and I am proud to stand before you today to nominate Michael J. Madigan for Speaker of the Illinois House of Representatives in the 101st General Assembly. Author and public <laughs> Author and public speaker John C. Maxwell once said, a leader is one who knows the way, who goes the way, and who shows the way. I could not agree more. But I would also add that a great leader is one who listens to the people. Listening is probably the most important character that your leaders can have. Watching Mike Madigan work these last four years has been a real case study in true leadership. Illinois suffered greatly the last four years. What we saw was an epic struggle, a struggle that caused our state to go 736 days without a budget. We were talked about all across this country. A cloud hovered above all of us. With Mike Madigan leading in the way, we didn't waver. We stood strong, and we protected the heart and soul of this great state. But one of the main reasons why Mike Madigan was such a great leader during this time was because he listened to us. During our darkest days, there were several key moments in time when Mike Madigan listened to the rank and file members, both Democrats and Republicans. Two instances immediately come to my mind. In the summer of 2017, when rank-and-file members did not want to go home another summer without a budget, rank-and-file members told Mike Madigan that we were working across the aisle on a budget deal to end that stalemate. Mike Madigan didn't get in the way. Instead, he wholeheartedly supported the work of rank-and-file members. And Democrats and Republicans worked together. We got it done and we broke that 736-day budget impasse. <laughs> Shortly after that, Mike Madigan showed his strength again when he supported an idea by a few of us rank-and-file members to form a bipartisan, bicameral higher education working group. Our higher education system had been decimated by the unprecedented impasse. And we really wanted to keep the bipartisan spirit alive. So this working group of six Democrats and six Republicans worked for several months. And we were able together, in a bipartisan way, able to pass historic legislation that includes the four-year MAP guarantee for our low-income students in this state. And we were also able to pass the AIM High Scholarship Award for those who deserve it. Illinois colleges and universities are already applauding these new tools and are already using them to recruit students back to our state. As a result of Madigan listening, of him listening to rank and file members, we made it through some difficult days, ladies and gentlemen. The clouds are moving out. The sun is rising again. And it's a new day in Illinois. The 101st General Assembly makes history here today, on day one. This new General Assembly has the largest number of Democrats since 1982.
and the largest percentage of Democrats in the House since 1964. <laughs> but even with a supermajority in Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot move Illinois forward alone. We can't do this just as Democrats. We have to do this together. Just like we did with the budget in the summer of 2017 and the great work produced by the Higher Education Working Group in 2018, we must do it together. Together, we can make a difference. With Mike Madigan as our speaker and working with those Democrats and these Republicans, we can and we will put Illinois families first. And we will keep Illinois safe. We will protect our education system, pre-K all the way through higher education. We will protect our health care system in this, in this state. And that includes critical, life-saving breast cancer screenings for women. And yes, together, we will provide equal pay for equal work. And you know what else we will do working together? We will make the rich finally pay their fair share. <laughs> it's a new day in Illinois. I am extremely confident we will get these things done because Michael J. Madigan is a Speaker of the House who listens to Democrats and Republicans. For these reasons and so many more, I am truly honored to nominate Michael J. Madigan for Speaker of the Illinois House of Representatives in this 101st General Assembly. Thank you.